Okay, so now make sure that your Xbox wireless adapter is not plugged in at this moment. Then we're going to open up our browser and we're going to go to this GitHub. And the link will be in the description below. We're going to click download zip. And it's going to give you this really long name. I recommend changing the name to something a little shorter, like X. <laughs> That's what I do here. I just call it x.zip. Seem to be easier to find. Okay, once it's downloaded, it's very, very small. It's just a script. We're going to open up Dolphin. We're going to go to our downloads folder. And there is the x.zip. We'll right-click it and choose extract. And we'll extract archive here. And unfortunately, it puts it into a folder with a big long name. <laughs> just can't get rid of that big long GUID there. So I'm just going to rename it to X. I'm going to go in there and you're going to see an icon and you're going to see uh, the actual script itself. The script is what we actually want to run, but we need to run it from a console to make sure that we do it right. Let's right click and open terminal here. And we're going to type LS. We're going to make sure we're actually in that folder, which we are. That folder contents match up. Then we're going to check and make sure we have a pseudo password set. I already have one. That's why it's asking me to change it. I'm not going to change it, but if you haven't set one yet, you're going to need it for this script. Okay, next up, we are actually going to execute the script. We're going to type bash space and then the full length of the script, x1 underscore install underscore or underscore update dot sh. Yes, you could rename it. Okay, so uh, now it wants our pseudo password, which we just set. And... You're going to see something slightly different because I've already installed this once, but all of this stuff's going to come up. You're going to get your first prompt that says default equals all. Go ahead and hit enter. Then you're going to get asked if you're good with this installation. Hit Y and, and enter. Now just understand a lot of stuff's getting installed here. A lot of stuff's getting installed. These shouldn't be a problem even if you're tight on space, but it's installing a lot of stuff and you should know that that's what it's doing. Okay, and it's going to finish itself up here. All of this is pre-install stuff. It's right at the very end that it actually enables the driver itself. And we're gonna wait for it to go through. Done, you may now safely close this window. All right, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? Now we can go ahead and plug in our Xbox wireless controller. I'm just doing it through this hub I have plugged into the deck. And of course, you'll need your Xbox controller Power it on, hold down the pairing button, hold down the pairing button on your Xbox adapter. This should be no secret to anybody. And after a moment, it will connect. And when it stops blinking, you're good. You can see right down below, it says Xbox One controller using configs from Dark Uni. Now all we have to do is test it. And we're gonna use my fan favorite Overwatch to do the testing. So I'm in Overwatch now. I've got my Elite One controller here, my white controller. You can see I have two back paddles and I've assigned them to the two bumpers because the bumpers are, you know, a pain in the butt. I love my back paddles. So we are going to go ahead and go into the training range and I will show you. Moira has a fade, sort of a teleportation thing on the left rear paddle. And on the right rear paddle, it initiates throwing an orb. So you can see right now, I click it and I started the uh, warping process. And you can also see as I click this, that it, uh, it, it uh, enables the balls, right? To decide which one you're going to throw. And that's it. Listen, I hope you like this. Please like, subscribe. You guys know what to do. Leave a comment. I hope this helps you out. I'm Shane Armandro. As always, thanks so much for watching and take care.